Hey guys, this is Matthias with Ally Gaming. The Ally is a fantastic little device. It can play most of the games available on PC on fair settings. And paired with Game Pass, it's not too far-fetched to call the Ally sort of like a portable Xbox Series S. However, one big difference between the Ally, the PS5, the Switch, etc. is that the Ally lacks a dedicated and useful interface to launch your games. You could of course use the launcher from Armory Crate, but we all know it's not the best launcher there is. We've all been there trying to show a friend or colleague just how awesome the Ally is clicking around in windows trying to launch a game but it just doesn't work this usually ends that moment when your buddy says uh, i think i understand but i'll go for uh, the steam deck or switch or whatever instead the blessing and the curse in all of this on the ally is windows the blessing part is that windows on the ally can handle most of the games and apps you throw at it the cursed part is that when you start your ally and you're met with a Windows interface. All the devices out there that has become a mainstream success usually have one thing in common. They have custom interfaces to make the usage as streamlined as possible. For instance, if you have a smart TV, the interface is built around the functionality to change channels and launch apps like YouTube. The iPhone and Android interfaces with their big icons makes launching apps a breeze. And the way the interface on the Switch presents each game as a big icon, making it super easy to launch these games. The Ally, on the other hand, forces you to either use the Armory Crate launcher, which is not very good and leaves much to be desired. And if you don't want to use that, you are forced to use Windows with either huge icons on the desktop or launch the specific front end such as um, Steam or GOG or uh, Epic and then navigate around there and try to start the games. These minimal interfaces weren't built to be used on a 6, 7, 8 inch screen. You can only wish that you start the correct game the first time you click around it. Of course, I know that we have stuff like Steam Big Picture Mode, which is absolutely fantastic. But if you want to launch games from other launchers, you're usually out of luck. That's why I will be talking about launchers today. There's many of us out there that are waiting for a specialized interface, such as a Xbox launcher or something. An interface made for Windows-based handhelds. And myself, I'm currently working on uh, a sort of a concept for this but I will get back to this in another video in the future hopefully it will be something good until we see a solution for this we can go with one of two solutions that I have looked at these are play night and launch box these are two really useful applications that can make your ally steam deck or other PC based handheld work like switch or portable PS5 Xbox or whatever let's get started I won't go too deep into how to install these two applications, but if you have any questions, please post them below and I'll try to answer them as good as I can. Now let's talk about what you can do with Play Night and LaunchBox, and we're going to start with Play Night. This is close to the ultimate video game launcher, and the cool thing is that it integrates almost perfectly with the Asus RG Ally, giving it an almost out of the box experience where it feels as this is what it was supposed to be like. Play Night is totally free and it comes with no hidden fees. Play Night is an awesome and feature packed game launcher that brings together all your gaming libraries into one unified platform. Whether you have games on Steam, Epic Game Store, GOG Origin, or even classic console emulators, Play Night puts them all into the same launcher interface. With Play Night, you don't have to start Steam by itself or even start Game Pass, since with the plugin you can browse all the Game Pass games straight from Play Night. And this is absolutely awesome. Getting started with Play Night is super easy. Simply download Play Night from the official website at playnight.link and install it on your ally. Once installed, we can customize Play Night to be just like we want it by choosing from a bunch of various themes and layout. If you have any questions regarding the installation, just post them below and I'll try to answer them as good as I can. Play Night's game library management is truly a game changer and I would say this is somewhat of the secret weapon. 
It automatically imports and organizes your games, displaying detailed information and artwork for each title. The great thing is that you don't have to use multiple launchers anymore, but instead let Playnight do the work for you. The desktop application that you see here is where you do most of your organization, sorting and editing of your game library. If you have a huge library of games, finding what you're looking for is easy. Filter between most played, favorites and latest played. Group games together based on installation size, genre, publisher, completion status and many more. Sort games between libraries, publisher, developer, genre and much more. It's also possible to change between list mode, grid and icon mode and detailed view to find the view you like the best. Myself, I kind of like the grid and icon mode. It's easy to get a personalized gaming experience with Play Night's extensive customization options. You can add custom tags, create playlists and even apply different filters to your library, making it easier to find and play your favorite games. And if you don't know what to play, you can always click the random game button and play whatever game Play Night chooses for you. With the explorer panel, you see all your games listed based and sorted according to the storefront launchers you have installed. Finally, you have a social button that takes you to your Steam chat. Awesome, and now you don't have to close Play Night to chat with your buddies. Here, it would be awesome to have an integration with the Discord chat as well. Myself, I haven't added any emulators to Play Night yet, but feel free to add whatever choices you might have since it supports most, if not all, major emulators out there. I don't know too much about this, so I will leave it here. There's a ton of settings to play around with, change layout, themes, how Play Night behaves, etc. I haven't gone too deep here, but for the ones that love to customize every little part of their apps, this is a gold mine. Now let's take a look at Play Night's big picture mode, and this is pretty awesome. It's super easy to seamlessly switch to Play Night's big picture mode for a console-like experience. This mode is perfect for launching games on the small ally screen and instead of having to scroll around in shopfront launchers like Steam or in Windows, you just click any of the big thumbnails to start a game. One sales pitch of the big picture mode is that it looks great on a big screen. But this mode will give your ally that console-like feeling and it's up to you if you want to use a theme that feels like the Switch, like a PlayStation or an Xbox. I think this is awesome. For me personally, a launcher like this is the perfect partner for the Allies since it saves time and makes usage so much more easy. And especially on the tiny Ally screen, launching games is so much more easy with the big picture mode. What's not here are system settings and functions to change how Windows behaves, but hopefully we don't have to change those that often. In the game details page, you can add custom tags and categories to games for easy organization. You can filter the games based on various criteria like platform, tag, genre, etc. and sort them by name, release date or playtime. Every time you start a game, Play Night launches your games directly from the original platforms, whether it's Steam, Origin or any other supported platform. This is to make sure that your gaming experience is exactly as it was meant to be. The cool thing is that Play Night supports not only the most common launchers and libraries, but also stuff like Humble Keys Library for the keys you bought through Humble Bundle, Amazon Games, Fanatical Library, and also libraries like Game Pass and GeForce Now. These can be added with the help of add-ons in settings. It's easy to stay up to date with the latest game releases and updates with Play Night's notification system. You don't have to manually check for updates. Play Night keeps you informed so that you can focus on playing the games instead of spending time searching for updates. Play Night on the Ally makes for a great gaming experience and this is one of the best ways to launch your games. With Play Night, you'll have all your games at your fingertips and I can't think of many ways to make it easier than this. In summary, Play Night offers a centralized, customizable and efficient gaming experience that enhances your gaming sessions and fits the ally perfectly with its small screen. Now let's take a look at our other launcher for today. This is the Launchbox launcher and I would say that this might be a better solution if you are mainly focused on emulation and ROMs since Launchbox was created as a launcher for emulators from the beginning. With Launchbox you can get pretty amazing themes that makes your system look awesome but before we jump in I have to tell you that Launchbox is available in a free version as well as a premium version. 
We will take a look at the premium version today, but I will also try to tell you a few of the differences between the free and the premium version. I was supplied with the premium version code by the devs on Broken Software, but I'm free to say whatever I want about the app. So let's get started. Launchbox is a classic launcher and front-end. Some would probably say it's the ultimate gaming front-end and compared to Play Night, it comes down a lot to personal taste and preference since both Launchbox and Play Night does a lot of things somewhat the same. Just as with Play Night, Launchbox gives a seamless integration with Ally and it's a great choice for anyone that don't want to click around in Windows. This is a really feature-packed gaming front-end that both looks great and gives you smart features to make game organization and launching effortless. Whether you're a fan of classic console games or the latest PC titles, Launchbox brings all your games together in one great interface with heavy focus on the look. This launcher can give your ally a really cool, almost always like look to it, making even browsing and choosing games fun. And as with Play Night, it's almost necessary to have a launcher like this with the small screen of the ally. Setting up Launchbox on your Ally is not too different from and as simple as with Play Night. Download the Launchbox application from launchbox-app.com and follow the straightforward installation process. Once installed, you have a huge bunch of options to customize Launchbox and to make it a great experience. Gone are the days of having your games in 5 to 6 different storefront launchers and instead having a great looking game collection. Launchbox automatically imports and organizes your games, complete with box art, metadata and even fan-made videos. With version 13.6, your games will automatically be scanned and imported from Steam, GOG, Epic Games, Amazon, Ubisoft Connect, etc. straight into Launchbox. I'm pretty sure you've never had a game library that looked this good and was as organized as with Launchbox. When it comes to launching games, Launchbox is not too different from Play Night and launching games are as seamless as with Play Night. Launchbox launches your games from all sorts of platforms, whether it's Steam, GOG Origin or even classic console emulators. I think if you want to focus on emulation, I would choose Launchbox and think it's definitely the way to go. Especially with the awesome themes that matches your ROM collections perfectly. To have theme support, you need Launchbox Premium Edition, and it actually has some of the coolest themes in any launcher. And where Play Night follows a simpler layout scheme, Launchbox allows for much more advanced themes. Want to display your games as carts or boxes? It's absolutely possible with Launchbox Premium. Big Box Mode is Launchbox's version of Big Picture Mode, and it's probably the main feature of the Premium tier. For a forever premium license, you pay $30, and included in this is updates for a year. If you want a forever updates license, you will pay $75, and that will let you update to new versions of the software for as long as it will live. I would say that if your focus is a good looking launcher with focus on emulation, the premium fee is probably worth it. But if you're not sure, use the desktop version until you've decided. The big box mode is perfect for both the small ally screen, making it easier to hit those big icons to launch your games. It's also a great experience on a big screen when docked. Just as with Play Night's Big Picture Mode, Launchbox's Big Box Mode delivers a console-like experience, perfect for your living room setup. In summary, both Play Night and Launchbox are powerful gaming frontends with distinct characteristics. Where Play Night excels in its simplicity, broad platform integration and availability as a free open source software, Launchbox stands out for its highly customizable interface strong focus on console emulation and a blend of free and premium versions with additional features. The choice between the two will depend on individual preferences, needs and gaming habits. Myself, I have kind of a tricky time to choose between these because I think both these launchers are absolutely fantastic. But if you want to start with something that might not be as intimidating, I would go for Play Night. Organize my gaming library, play around and learn how these work. And if you want to focus on emulators and ROMs, go for Launchbox. Play Night has sort of a standard look to all of its themes and if you want to take a step further to a more customizable interface, you have to check out Launchbox. 
That's it for today's video about launchers on the Ally. If you have any questions, whatever it might be, please post them below. If you like this kind of content, please click the thumbs up and the subscribe button and it would make my day. Until next time, stay safe, stay gold and see ya.